All right, so the next this is the next one in the series, and uh, we're just going to connect um, the torso and the head here. And so basically, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to just really quickly in here grab this vertice here, and I want to. Actually, we'll grab this here, do connect. Actually, I'm going to have to select this by hand here. Oh, no. That one won't work. All right, so let's connect this real quick. Um, so I've got kind of this. I'll go front zoom. All right, so I've got this. Uh, the head here. I think I moved the head at some point in time, so let's, uh, let's select the head, and I'm just going to move it down a little bit. And nope, that looks that looks actually about right. So we'll just undo that. So let's uh, get this all working together here. All right. So the first first thing that we're going to do is we got to attach. the head. Okay. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to start going in the edge mode. Let's bridge as much as possible together. So let's just go down here, bridge, and we'll start by forming some of this stuff together here. So let's pull this out a little bit. bridge and looks like our head's not going to be quite centered so let's grab the top part the top part and I'm just going to move that in so it centers a little bit. Uh, something like so. Alright, and then let's figure out this here. Um, let's just bridge this. Here, bridge like so, and then it's still not lining up, or is it lining up? Let's check that lines up in the front and to the back that it's going to have the issue with. So let's um, take this, move it like so. Grab this one, move it up. So I'm going to just collapse those real quick. Like so. this last one here. Alright, so that looks looks okay. Now, of course, this is a little bit deformed and we're going to have to fix this up down the road here. Um, but the main thing is we're going to get the, the pieces all in. So let's grab this. Bridge this one up. Let's bridge this one up, and let's bridge this one up, and I'm going to bridge this one over here. 
Alright, <clears throat> so, um, basically, I've got my female character um, pretty much done. Um, as you can see, the neck is a little bit deformed as well as the back. Um, and if I look, do it real quick by numerical here, uh, I've got a couple polygons that need to be fixed. Um, nothing in the head, nothing really in the feet, looks like just some in the back here. And some of them are, are simple fixes like these here. If we've got just a stray one going on, that fixes that one. Um, I've got a five-sided guy over here that I need to fix. And it uh, looks like I've got, let's go back to polygon mode. Um, looks like I've got let's go Merrick greater than that one fit that one's fixed and then looks like I need to fix these over here um, so basically what I'm gonna do to fix this I'll just kind of work with me here um, I'm going to just select these two and I'm going to hide unselected so I can just kind of play with this. Okay, so anatomy wise, her neck is way too big. Also, I really don't have any collarbones in here. So, what I'm going to do is this is the, the kind of the start for the collarbones right here. And the collarbones go up to this baseline right here. So, what I want to do is I'm going to, this is where I'm going to start playing a little bit. I'm going to go to vertex mode and select something and right click. Uh, why is, oh, I know why. Right here, vertex mode, polygon, cut. All right. So I want to have the collarbones in there first. So the collarbones, um, basically, they've got a little spot right here. And I'm just going to make the cut here, like so. And then this is going to be indented. I'm going to cut this over like so. All right. And let's solidify this one so we're not playing on two sides here so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut in here and I'm probably going to cut from here all the way something like so okay so that gives me the collarbone here to start with I'm going to pull this Pull this back. Let's see by pulling this back down and it doesn't matter kind of where I pull it down. Let's see is pulling this down like so. That gives me this edge loop here. Where the collarbone basically is going to sit. So when I do that, you see the, the nice ridge I've got going on there. I'm going to just collapse this. And then from here, the neck, I'm going to, you've got these, uh, you've got your major muscles, your tendons and stuff there on your side of your neck. So I'm going to cut from the back of the neck here to kind of the front of the neck like so and this I'm going to just sink in a little bit so that that gives you that little divot there I'm going to take these and probably collapse them and then this and then let's cut in the back of this neck 
And these are edge loops. These are the, the muscles that you're going to be, uh, you're kind of going to be bulking out and stuff. So what's going to happen there is I'm going to pull out this and start by going in here, collapsing some geometry. As you can see, we should add some more edge loops and stuff like that in there. Um, so I'm going to collapse this one. There's a little little one here. And these are just these are just things that I'm going in here and and cleaning up. Um, but this edge loop, when I put these edge loops in here of these muscle groups, you know, just like we did with the biceps and stuff like that, that's gonna give you a lot more geometry to play with. Um, and it'll flow a little bit nicer in there. And what I can do is let's do this one too. So let's kind of cut that in there and grab that loop and just pull it out just a hair and let's turn off let's turn off this and as you can see your edge edge loop stays really nice in there and that's just something simple that you can do all right, so let's uh, fix some of this up here. Now, as you as you can see, I'm the more I'm adding in here, the more crazy this is getting. Um, so, you know, and this is this is just a lot of what you're doing as you're just tweaking this stuff to get what you want. Um, something like this here um, I would just grab this delete this go back to your our edge really need to add that there all right bridge that like so now we've got this triangle but if you take this one and delete this one And let's take this one and let's just bridge, you know, so it's, it's little things like that, that make that, that's going to make a huge difference, you know, going in there and tweaking this stuff all up so that you've got the, a nice edge looping, nice geometry. Um, you know, you might have some triangles here and there, um, but we want to go in, clean up the triangles. Um, I know we're gonna have that that five-sided here um, and then this five-sided here is I can either edge loop all the way down or I can pull this I can take this and I can either edge loop it all the way down like so which just causes more issues or I can actually bring it over like so. And smooth some things out there. And that works fine for, for what I'm looking for. Um, and then I've got one up here, that I can just simply kind of spread things out, or I can, you know, there's a number of ways to, to fix this stuff, you know, it just really boils down to what you want. 
So you know, this back is back is kind of jacked up because the back doesn't have room for the muscles. So actually, what I would be doing is I'd be pulling this out, and these are your, your kind of your this is your spine right here, and then this actually goes in a little bit more here. It's just sometimes it's easier just to grab. So this is a, this needs a whole lot of work. So I would possibly take this, be something like this, and pull it down a little bit. Grab some of. So, you know, it's just a matter of, of tweaking and manipulating. Um, but basically, the body is, is pretty close to being done. Um, you know, we, we need to go in, and, and, and I'd, like I said, I'm going to fix this back up a little bit. Um, you know, put some shoulder, like the shoulder blades can go in there. Um, the neck's a little bit thick for a female, probably bring something like that in there um, and so on and so forth but you get the essentials of creating a, a basic character and then what we're going to do is the next thing we're going to do is we're going to unwrap this and I'm only going to unwrap half and we are going to unwrap it and then duplicate it and then cut it apart and I'll show you why I'm doing that um, in a bit. So um, it looks like we're done modeling and the next set is the next set is go to let's select the element and we just add a smoothing group and uh, let's just auto smooth for now and um, looks like you got your basis of your character going on. Alright, so we'll go from there. I'm probably going to tweak this a little bit, um, and I'll show you where I tweak it, and we'll go from there. Alright, thanks much.